We're back, Scratch DJ Academy, and today we're going to talk about how to use auto-tune. Auto-tuning refers to the process when software analyzes and takes out sharp or flat tones in singing vocals. Auto-tune was popularized in the early 2000s by such mainstream hits as Cher's Believe and Daft Punk's One More Time. Today we're going to use auto-tune in a number of different ways. First, I'm gonna show you how to take out any stray tones in your singing vocals, all the way into showing you how to create those famous robotic vocals. Here we go. Now here I have a project with a instrumental and vocal loaded up. Uh, this is a scratch vocal from, you know, one of the guys came through, and we want to take his notes, and if he has any flat or sharp notes, we're gonna to wanna to tune them. So, uh, first, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to AntarisTech.com. You're going to want to purchase Auto-Tune from their website. After you've downloaded it, it will show up in your plugins folder within Ableton, and we're going to drop it onto the vocal track. When we open Auto-Tune, we see a lot of different parameters that we can change. First thing we're going to do we're going to listen to the vocal dry and assess what type of vocal that we have so we can place it into the input type. So I'm going to deactivate the beat, open up auto-tune, and we just, uh, we're going to listen. So we can already hear that these vocals are a male with a, with a low tone uh, voice, so we're going to go to low male. We're going to want the tracking to be 100% relaxed. We're going to change the key of our uh, vocal to what the key of our track is. Now this track, this track's key is B minor. So I found the key of my song by listening to the song and then playing a, a piano note along with it. Or you can also look online for uh, different types of key searching software. Serato uh, can tell you the key of a song using the Camelot wheel. So we're going to change that to B minor. I'm going to make my retune speed as fast as possible. I have targeting ignore vibrato. So this is the vocal effect uh, saturated by the most auto-tune, okay? Um, you can also use auto-tune to make minute, you know, very small, finite changes in, in your vocals, all right? And to do that, you would uh, make the tracking a little more choosy and slow down the retune speed. And you kind of do that at taste because, you know, it depends on how, um, you know, digital you want the voice to sound. So we'll listen. So that is the vocal with the uh, with a small amount of the effect on there. And as you can see, it has tuned uh, the vocals to key all right, and has taken out some of the harshness. Uh, you just kind of have to do it to taste. All right, over here on the right, we have the vibrato section. So the as far as using the create vibrato section, none of these will have a very clear effect on what you're tuning. And as far as, you know, having a digital versus non-digital sound, but you can change the formants and that will give you a different quality uh, within what you're tuning. Once again, we're here, Scratch DJ Academy, and that is how to use Auto-Tune.